tell me about yourself or tell tell us about yourself. Well, my name's Tim Howard. I'm the choir teacher at Mount Whitney. Um, I, I have three boys um, at home at, that are five, three, and two. Um, and I have six choirs here in this program. Um, and it's a large program. Um, my free time, I don't know if there's a lot of that going on, free time. But uh, yeah, I love, I love this job, so yeah, that's pretty much me. Both of my parents are music teachers. Um, and my mom in particular was a voice major. So, um, so we, it was super Brady Bunch growing up, uh, like Monday nights were like family singing night. So I have one brother and my, my dad who is a worship pastor would bring, uh, hymnals home and, uh, and we'd eat dinner and then my dad would hand my brother and I a hymnal and then he would assign us like a part, whether it's bass or tenor alto. And, uh, and then uh, he would like tell us, all right, hymn number 802. Uh, and we turned to it and we'd sight read hymns. Um, so I kind of learned there. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I started. Sweet. I went to Fresno State. Uh, uh, I started college um, at uh, the Modesto Junior College and did only band there um, and went transferred to Fresno State thinking I was going to be a, uh, a band teacher. I was an instrumental music education major um, and, then, uh, and then fell in love with text uh, and poetry and how that uh, interplayed with music. So changed to, uh, to choir education. It's hard to pick one um, because different stages of life. I feel like I've I've always had someone. Um, uh, I would say in college would have been uh, Dr. Hamry, who's the choral professor there, uh, Fresno State. Um, but I would say, uh, you know, in terms of my teaching, John Sorber, who's now the the professor at COS, has been a, a big mentor for me. Um, in high school, um, actually, oddly enough, my history teacher. Uh, I almost became a history teacher because of my junior year U.S. history teacher, Mr. Skinner. Uh, so yeah, it just it wasn't always music teachers, but but a lot of them were. Kind of like what I touched on earlier, uh, the. I, I knew I wanted to do music. Uh, music was kind of one of those, I went through a lot of different majors during the junior college. I thought about being a math teacher, I thought about being a history teacher. A brief moment of wanting to be a landscape architect. Um, but, uh, but music was kind of one of those things that I could, even when I didn't want to, I could always do music. Um, and, uh, and like I said before, I started with instrumental, but I felt like I could bring people to a, a musical place faster doing choir because you don't have to deal with the instrument. Um, so I love text and I love that I can bring a beginner to a pretty advanced musical place in choir pretty fast. Um, that was kind of an interesting time uh, mm -hmm. eight years ago applying because there were, unlike now where there's a ton of music jobs, there were zero music jobs. Um, mm -hmm. and, and if I remember right, in the Central Valley, this was the only full-time choral position that was open in the Central Valley. And so I, I really didn't think I was going to be teaching full-time choir. It was kind of like the pipe dream at first. Uh, but definitely when I was applying for jobs, this was like job goal number one. Um, 
because I truly wanted to do just choir, even though I would have been, you know, I, I think one job I applied for, I was, it would have had me doing band, choir, and steel pan drums, uh, which would have been kind of fun, but uh, uh, really just choir is my passion, so, so this was like the dream job.